I was going to ask you, uh, what was it about the $400 million offer from Saudi Arabia that tempted uh, Kareem Benzema <laughs> away? Which zero? <laughs> 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 I mean, there's, there's two things. There's obviously the offer and, and the money. And I think it's, it's not just about the money. He's earned enough money in his career already. He's a very rich man. I think this, this offer, the two-year, three-year deal, depending on what he chooses and how long he signs, is like literally the next 10 generations of Benzema's are safe. They're all, they're all safe. It's it's an incredible amount of money, whether it's 400 million, 600, up to 600 million, it's just something ri ridiculous. I think the other thing as well, and just to, to just go with what the boys have just said, is all, he also wanted to leave at the highest possible. And already this season, we saw compared to last season when he won the Ballon d'Or, the numbers were still good, but it was not as good. We saw him at times being a bit of a passenger, not as decisive as he was the season before. And I think he also felt like this is it. I'm, I'm, at, the, the, I'm at the top. I've won again this season a Copa del Rey, a, a Club World Cup. What, next season, I don't know. I don't know how, how well I'm going to play. He will be 36 in December. You know, clearly another striker is going to come. It's, it, and he felt, he want, he's always said to me that he wanted to leave at the highest possible at Real Madrid. N not having the season too many or the season too much. I don't know how you say in English. The one that might tarnish a little bit the legacy and a little bit what he's done in the previous 14 years. And I think he felt this is it. This is perfect. This is the right time. 354 goals, all the records. Uh, it's just the 25 titles, the five Champions League, the Ballon d'Or just a year ago. And also, I think the World Cup kind of really hurt him not to be able to take part. So he felt this is the right time. He could, of course, he could have said another year. He had that contract on the table from, from Florentino Perez and Real Madrid. But he felt this is it. Now, I can't, I can't be higher up. I can't live in a higher up position. This is, this is the best way of going, really. So what do Real Madrid need now? Someone to come in and replace him. Of course, they've been heavily linked to Erling Haaland or Kylian Mbappe in the future, maybe two or three seasons. So you're looking for someone who maybe is running out of contract, mm. who's established as one of the best goal scorers ah. in the world, and who, according to their boss, won't be sold to a Premier League club. So looking at this, Jules, surely Harry Kane ticks every box, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I think Kai Havertz uh, and the two are separate. I think both of them can end up at Real Madrid. And I think Kai Havertz right now is the one where the negotiation and discussions are the, f are, are, are the further. But Harry Kane is definitely on, on Real Madrid uh, shortlist. I mean, I think he is the shortlist. If mm. you take away Kai Havertz, Kane right now is the shortlist. There's no Haaland, no Mbappé on that shortlist. The only name they have is Harry Kane. And for the right reason, OK, you could say that He's maybe a little older to what they would like, but still, he's a proven goal scorer. He's, he's someone that, in a way, or certainly the profile, is similar to Karim in the sense that he can play almost as an and as, an, as a 10, like Karim used to do or Karim is doing. So for that, you can imagine Vinicius playing with Kane almost as well as he's playing mm. with Benzema. Certainly, that's the idea, I think, that they have in terms of profile. So you're right, he ticks all the boxes. Can it happen? I think it can. Of course, they certainly have the money. I think it will depend a lot on Kane. What does he want to do? We know that he wants to leave Spurs, but would he want to stay in England and beat Alan Shearer's record, for example, and, and get close to a Dixie Dean's record? Probably, yeah, for sure. But can you say no to Real Madrid in the position that he is right now to go and win trophies? Not neither. So it's down to him. It won't be an easy decision to take whether he wants to stay in England and go to a United, for example, or go to Real Madrid. Who would like to shout first? Uh, <laughs> I, let me, right now, Don's on his bike riding to Madrid to tell to tell Frontino Perez about about Aussie men. <laughs> because apparently nobody's heard about <laughs> Don is Don said is the, he's not for the, sale. That's that done. Yeah, but you, Don Don's Aussie men's agent. I'm convinced of it. Listen, um, it, this, this key into to Real Madrid makes an incredible amount of sense. The only thing is, is despite if what... If you were on the brink of breaking the clean sheet record in the Premier League mm. and you had this opportunity <laughs> no to... No danger of that. ...or stay somewhere so you could do it, would, would, it even, would it even be a consideration? No. You could keep every clean sheet I've had. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be, I'd be on the back of Don's bike going to Madrid. Uh, li listen, I, I think opportunities to, to play for a club such as Real Madrid, regardless of, 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 of who you are, what stage of your career you're at, when they come up, you take them.
and you're guaranteed, you're guaranteed the starting berth. Yeah. You're going to get that shirt. You're going to be alongside Vinicius Junior. Mm -hmm. It's a young, upcoming. I oh know it's a, it's kind of a team that's in a little bit of transition at the moment, but still, and it's not Spurs. And <laughs> Yes. <laughs> See, there you go, Dan. 100%. And, and you've done everything you possibly could for Spurs. What else can you possibly do if you are Harry Kane? You've paid your dues. You've done whatever has been asked of you. Now it's time to make a decision for yourself, to take yourself to a different level entirely and a different profile entirely. Now, Harry Kane is an outstanding striker, but you could be an outstanding striker for Real Madrid. Now, it's, 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 a, it's a completely different conversation. Spurs, Real Madrid, in history, in, in terms of success, in terms of expectations, in terms of what it does for you as a player, in terms of what it does for you as, as an individual, as a professional. Look. It's Real Madrid. <laughs> Center forward for Real Madrid. Who doesn't want that? And this feels, it's almost too perfect. It's, if you were to line up players yeah. that match in terms of style and profile to the skill set of Karim Benzema, that you can just take out Benzema and put in a player, the first player, and perhaps the only player in that list at this high level, at this elite level, is Harry Kane. Now, if he doesn't know that, I'll tell him, Harry Kane, you are the guy. I don't, I, you I don't are the it, guy. Don't hey, so Harry, if you're listening, <laughs> you are it. the guy. Don't run away from this because here's the other thing. And, and, and look, I love me some Harry Kane. But if he's not driven by this sort of aspiration, by this sort of expectation, by this, this possibility, then I have to question my love for Harry Kane. Wow. wow. Can I, just, I just want to ask Jules one question in this subject. If they get Kane, can they still get Bellingham? That's a good question. Uh, I, I think they have, let's not forget that there was, a, there was money available for Kylian Mbappe, for example, that they didn't use because he didn't came uh, last summer. And I think they also know that this is, as you said, a transition period where they need to make those signings. And you save a lot of money with Eden Hazard, for example, with mm. Karim Benzema in terms of the wage bill and what you can do with the La Liga financial fair play. So that's okay. And then those transfer fees won't be paid in, in, in one transfer anyway. You pay them over the length of the contract that the players is going to sign for you. So I, I, I do I want to believe like a team like Real Madrid with the revenues that they have right now can afford, let's say, 120 million for, for, for Bellingham in euros and 100 million or 80 million for, for Harry Kane as well. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.